Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, everything has been so crazy lately and you live to see another day. So congratulations on that front. You're doing well. Just make sure that you stay safe out there. You're being healthy and you're taking care of everything you need to take care of. Now, one of my last videos, I talked about the stimulus package that we can expect to get. And I talked about everything that you need to be aware of that's within that package. So if you missed that video, it's definitely a great one to go check out. If you want to learn more about it, learn what you can expect from it, then go hop on over to that video real quick. Then Come back to this one but what i want to talk about in this video here today is how you should be handling that twelve hundred dollars that you can expect to get from the stimulus package or better yet how i will be managing my twelve hundred dollars so that way you know i'm not a financial advisor i'm not giving you financial advice i'm just simply speaking my mind and telling it how it is how i'm going to be handling that Now, before we start talking about that $1,200 in the stimulus package, I just want to say, you know, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, I talk about all things investing. I give you my tips, tricks, insight into the stock market. One of the biggest things I do here on this channel is the Robinhood challenge, where I take $100 every single week. I incrementally invest that into the stock market, and I just share with you everything that's going on, my mindset when I'm making all the moves that I do, so you can understand my investment style and hopefully learn from the mistakes and the things that I'm doing correctly. So I just want to go over my progress within the Robinhood hood app so far and you can see over the past day it was so bad today on the stock market it was a really bad day in general you know my portfolio dropped five percent which is a huge swing for my portfolio what i try to do is make it less volatile than the market right now and i mainly am investing in lower volatile stocks lower volatile etfs for that and uh today it did not do its job yes it did drop more than the dow jones the dow jones dropped 4.44 percent so my portfolio today did not do its job but my goal right now is to just you know, beat the market any way that I can. As long as I'm doing better than the market in the long run, that's all that matters. And really where we're at today does not matter. So one week, I'm also negative. I'm down $120. Over the past month, we're down $883. Over the past three months, down $1,200. And over the past year, down $1,200. So that is what's been going on. But we're going to turn it around here with a quick free stock opening that I have. And here we go. Scratch that puppy off. PSEC, I actually used to uh, invest in them. PSEC is, I believe, a monthly dividend company as well. So uh, honestly, where the market's at right now, maybe I'll hold on to them. I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing. But right now, it seems like my emphasis is not necessarily in individual companies as much as it is in diversification and ETFs and dollar cost averaging down some of those individual companies in my portfolio. But you saw it there. My portfolio is down a total of $1,200 over the past year. And essentially, what I'm looking at right now is that stimulus check coming in and that just wiped that away. So now I'm only down $16. So pretty good return right there. And uh, my rationale behind that is because, you know, I'm going to be investing that money right now where I am sitting. I have an emergency fund established. I'm built up in that aspect where if I lose my job, I'm going to be set over the next six months to a year. I don't have anything to worry about right there. So that's really, really nice. I won't have to touch any of my investments. So that's on the side. And what I'm going to be doing with that $1,200 for me is continuing to invest in the stock market. I'll be continuing to dollar cost average my way in, probably focusing on diversification, like I said, with some of those ETFs and uh, just going after companies that I really do believe in, the ones that are going to be paying me those dividends, the ones that are going to be around for a very long time. Now, it's going to be awesome because where I was investing at all time highs, I actually put out a video where I invested $1,000 when the market was quite literally at the highest point in time. But personally, I don't think we have seen the worst of it yet. I think it's going to continue to drop for a while until we get the whole pandemic situation figured out until we understand what it takes to bounce back as an economy because as you look at things like the unemployment numbers you look at what's going on in society today the businesses even local businesses that are shutting down it's important to factor all of this in and though you can't necessarily predict the stock market it is pretty irrational and even on some days when it looks like all signs are pointing towards a positive day it can go negative and there has definitely been cases where you know, when the unemployment statistics came out and we were at a record breaking unemployment number, the market opened up 3% greater than what it had been 
the night before. So that was already factored into what was happening. And that was in my mind, something really crazy. I did not expect that at all, but let me know what you guys are thinking. Did you think the market was going to open up green on that particular day? But we're seeing it start to retract a little bit more from that point now. So I don't know where it's headed, to be honest. And in my own opinion, I think it's going to get worse because the situation at hand has not been getting any better. So now getting to the topic at hand, let's talk about that $1,200 that you can be expecting from the stimulus package and what I think is a good idea to do with it versus what I wouldn't necessarily do. So if you have that $1,200, you get that check in hand. I think there's a few basic things that you need to make sure happens before you even decide whether or not you're gonna be spending that. And that is identifying your comfort level, identifying where you're at financially and identifying your job security and understanding your safety net. The first thing that I think is most important to do with that $1,200 is take a look at your safety net. If you lost your job, if you stopped getting any type of income for whatever reason it is, are you going to be able to sustain yourself for the next, I don't know, six to 12 months? This could be a prolonged period of time where the economy is tanking and you might not be able to get back on your feet for a longer amount of time than it would normally take you. So keep that in mind. That's the first thing and most basic principle to investing is understanding you need to be safe and secure with your own personal financial situation. Don't put your life on the line if you end up, you know, investing the money and say you lost all the money you invested and then you can't make payments. You can't withdraw draw any money because you just lost it all in the stock market and you are really in a hole. You're just digging yourself deeper and deeper into debt and that's not what you want to do. The second thing, if you guys are new to investing, you haven't ever invested before, I think it's a really solid idea to actually take that money and if you don't need it for your safety net and you feel secure with your cash position right now, I'd say, hey, it might be a great idea to start investing, start that investment portfolio. And I started with the $1,000 initially when I first started my YouTube channel here, I invested $1,000 into the market. And I think that is a really great foundation for a portfolio. A lot of people who are new to investing might think, hey, that's not a lot of money, but trust me, as long as you stick to it, you invest that $1,000 and then you add on to it periodically, you are going to start building your account. And that's exactly how I got my account to the value it's at today. So the third thing that I think is really important, if you are a long-term investor like me, you're a dividend investor, it's really important to drill down on your portfolio. So for me, I invested $1,000 when the market was at its highest point in time. I put a video out on that. So if you want to check that out, feel free. But what I'm planning on doing with this $1,200 is use it to buffer my portfolio and I'm going to be adding more and more money. I'm going to still dollar cost average this $1,200. I don't think I'm going to do one big lump sum because in order to do that, I would have to try and time the market. And I don't think we've seen the worst that the market is going to get. I think it's going to go, I think it's going to be a lot worse than where we're at. You know, just looking at the unemployment numbers, looking at how red the market has been lately and just the volatileness of it. I just really don't have any great indicators on us recovering from this in a short period of time. So I don't know when it's going to happen. So what I'm going to do is invest more than $100 weekly based on that stimulus check. I might invest an extra $100, so $200 per week, just to average in as the market goes down or up, so I just mitigate my risk even more. Right now, it's actually hard for me to only spend $100 on the stock market. I wish I could dip into my savings and some of my other money to just put towards it because I think stocks are at a pretty good point in time right now. And if you're brand new to investing, it's really great to actually get in to a market like this as long as you can have a thick skin and you don't really worry about seeing red in your portfolio. I promise you that typically what happens over time is the market is going to bounce back and be at a much higher point than what it was before. So just to sum those up, you know, you want to make sure that you're safe financially, your own personal financial situation. If you're new to investing, it is a really great time to actually get into the market if all of those basic principles are covered. And then if you have been investing, it's a great time to continue using that money as long as those principles are covered again. It's great time to use that money to help bolster your portfolio, just get more and more money into it. Honestly, it might be wise to even hold on to that $1,200 for a little bit. If you don't want to invest in the market, you don't like how volatile it is, Cash is still a position. Cash is king, as they say. So you want to make sure, you know, you're not making any rash decisions, just throwing it right into the market immediately when you get it because it could end up hurting you in the long run. 
So anyways, guys, that is all I really have for you in the video here today. And if you missed the end of my last video, you know, I have some really, really exciting things coming to the channel very soon that you're all going to want to stay tuned for. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you click that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, you enjoy the content that I'm producing, please smash that like button. It really does help me out. Helps me out as a creator with the YouTube algorithm. Helps me out personally because people are actually wanting to see the type of content I'm putting out and they're getting value from it. So definitely please Please smash that like button if you could. And as I always say, guys, stay safe, stay healthy, make good choices, and have a great day.